Aquarius, what's going on? It's your girl here, Miss Hawaii. Welcome to your general love reading for October 11th of 2022. It's good to see you guys. I hope all is well with you, your loved ones, and your pets. Welcome to Miss Hawaii Tarot, Aquarius. Hope you guys had a blessed weekend. Now we're into the new week. Let's see. What are the romance angel messages for my Aquarians? What's going on with you guys in love? Let's see. Thank you, angels. Thank you, spirit guides, for connecting me with my Aquarians. What is going on with my Aquarians in love? Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. Very soon, clearly decide what it is that you want so that it comes to you now. A lot of you are manifesting. One last card, please, for my Aquarians. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So you need to bring the playfulness back into your love life. Some of y'all need to be more open-minded in regards to love. And some of you need to clearly decide what the hell you want. <laughs> Look, I can't make this up. They all came upright. But some of y'all trying to manifest and y'all don't even know what you want. You think you know, but you got no idea. This is the diary of Aquarius. Y'all remember that? All my late 20s, early 30s people remember that. This call, it was a show on MTV called The Diary, and they would do it with celebrities, and you would be with them, and they would like, you know, uh, film them, film like, they would like show you behind the scenes. There'll be interviews and shit. It's like the diary of basically whoever the celebrity was. And that's what the show was called. And in the beginning, they would always say, You think you know, but you have no idea. This is the diary of. And then they would say the celebrity's name. It was a really cool show they used to have on MTV. They should bring that back. You know what I mean? Because it's like you really got like, you know, close one-on-one -on -one with the celebrities. So let's see. This is the this is the diary of Aquarius. What dropped in my lap? Money and dark mail. <laughs> That's a nice combination. <laughs> it says money. Um Wealth, luck, and finances. So some of you, your money could be popping off right now. Money could be looking good for a lot of you, a lot of you Aquarians. Others of you, you're dealing with somebody who's financially stable when I see that card. Okay. Then you got dark male. So obviously not every single one of you is connecting with a dark male, but a lot of you are connecting with a dark male or a dark skinned female, darker skin. Okay. Beautiful brown skin. I love it. Brown skin. One more card, please, for my Aquarian. Shit, the dark male could be you too, right? Or the dark female could be you. Let's see. Show me more about this person, please, that Aquarius is connecting with in love. New love. Ooh. It says new love, new person, unknown person. So A, either some of you are connecting with a new person or B, some of you are waiting for somebody, new love, to come in. And they're on the way. Because it says unknown. So some of you, maybe you don't get out of that bag. Maybe some of you don't know. You know, you haven't met this person yet. Okay. For some of you, yeah. Oh, shit. I'm dropping cards everywhere. Hold on, Aquarius. Hold on, Aquarius. I hate when I drop the cards. Like, it really annoys me when I do that. I don't know if there are any other readers that feel that way. But it, like, really annoys me. All right, let me see here. Let's see what the tarot got for you, Aquarius. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, email MissHawaiiReadings at gmail.com. All that is in the description box below, as well as my social media information. If you want to be friends on social media, check that out. Also, special shout out to all of my members of this channel. I love all of you oh so much. Thank you for your membership. If you guys are interested in becoming a member, there is a join button below, or you can follow the link in the description box that will take you to my members page, all right? And also, if you're interested in purchasing 
the extended reading for this read, um, there's a link that will take you to Vimeo below. And I'll talk more about what's in that at the end of this reading. All right. So let's see what's going on with my Aquarians. What's going on with my Aquarians overall in love? Thank you, Angel Spirit Guides, for your divine assistance. What's going on with my Aquarians overall in love? We got the death card in reverse. Uh-oh, some of y'all need to get over y'all exes. Don't look at me like that. Oh, that's how true it is. Do you see what I'm saying? I'm just looking at the cards that hit the floor. Yeah, a lot of y'all are single right now. A lot of y'all got options in love. You know what I mean? But a lot of y'all are single right now. Mm. A lot of you are having a hard time, like, starting new or, or deading an old situation to start new. It's like there could be a fear of starting new for some of you. With the death card in reverse, some of you are dealing with a Scorpio. What else is going on with my Aquarius overall in love? What else is going on with my Aquarians overall in love? Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, something's cooking. <laughs> something's cooking. But there you go again with the fucking pad. Six of Cups. A lot of y'all focused on the past. You have a connection with the past person. Seven of Swords in reverse. I'm getting for some of you, you can't even trust your past person. Don't look at me like that. Some of y'all, you cannot trust your past person. But you still so attracted to them, Ace of Wands. You still got a lot of fire. You got a lot of passion for this person. One more card, please. It's interesting. The Nine of Swords, you in your head, stressing, worrying, losing sleep. What you worried about, Aquarius? The bottom of the deck, you got the four of wands. So what you stressing about? Okay, if, if you're an Aquarius and you're like, I don't know what this bitch talking about. I'm not in the past. I'm done with the past. Okay, then maybe you are, okay? But the death card is in reverse. So if you're done with the past, you either got a fear of starting new. You know what I'm saying? Because the six of cups is here. So... Now, if you are completely an Aquarius that's like, I'm done with the past, I don't know what she's talking about, then maybe whoever you're dealing with, you have you feel a soul bond. Because I see you trying to start new. I do. You have an ace here. Let's clarify this death card in reverse. That tried to pop out. It didn't come out there. Oh, that did. Judgment and the strength in reverse. What you scared of? Just like I said, you scared. Some of y'all dealing with a Leo. You scared. Or a Sagittarius, temperance in reverse. Some of you scared to start new or you scared to just leave the past in the past. Because it's like, it's going to be like a realization. Like, okay, wow, it's actually over. Let me see this Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Who is that? The person you stressing about? Or is that you? Being cynical, being all in your head for no reason. The hermit, yep. Yep. For some of you, there's somebody here that missed the opportunity with you. So what you stressing about? You didn't miss out, they did. You know what I mean? Let me see the six of cups. This is you thinking about the past, reminiscing. Who you thinking about? What you reminiscing about? Let's get all up in your head. The fool in reverse. How it's hard for you to start new, start fresh. Some of you really are scared to start new. Look, the world in reverse with the fool in reverse. I can't make this up. Okay? The world is the last card in the major arc arcana. The fool is the first. <laughs> and you got them both in reverse. So I feel like that rhyme. So I feel like, see, five of cups. 
you stuck in the past or you worried about the past or you thinking about somebody from the past. It's for some of you Aquarians, there's somebody you still got feelings for, an ex or something like that. Somebody you used to fuck with. Don't look at me like that. Let me see the seven of swords in reverse. And it got you stuck. Yeah, it's a relationship that didn't work out. King of swords in reverse. I don't even think, are you even talking to this person? And some of y'all got somebody here trying to get to know you and you acting mean as fuck with them. Some of you Aquarians got somebody here trying to get to know you. And you're not giving this person no attention. You're not showing them no attention. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Some of y'all got somebody here trying and it's like y'all being mean. Let me see the Ace of Wands. Don't look at me like that. You know I'm going to give you the truth, bitch. The Queen of Cups. Somebody here is trying to get something started with you. This is not you. This feels like somebody new. A Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, possibly person. Somebody that got a lot of love for you. This is not your past person. Show me this Ace of Wands, please. Who is this Queen of Cups? It feels like somebody that got a lot of love for you. A very sweet person. If they're not a water sign. Very compassionate, loving Show me this queen of cups with this ace of wands. Who is this? But a lot of you, this is the love you got for your ex. The king of pentacles in reverse and the moon. Mm. Some of y'all got somebody trying to, that's got feelings for you, that's trying to get close to you, but you don't trust them. You're not giving to it because you don't trust the situation. You don't trust the person. Let me see the nine of swords. That person feels like a newer person. That's not your ex. What you stressing about? Why is the nine of swords here? Three of swords in reverse. Okay. Show me the nine of swords, please. The sun in reverse and the ace of cups in reverse. You stressing about what? Love, not being happy, being pessimistic. And some of y'all just need to heal from past hurts and you're not doing that. Some of you stressing about past people, past relationships that didn't work, specifically with a fire sign, okay? Yeah, you, you stressing about a relationship. You're trying to understand why a relationship didn't work out for some of you, why somebody became emotionally detached. Let's look individually, okay? What feelings does Aquarius have for this person that we're channeling? What are the feelings that Aquarius has for this person that we are channeling? Feelings that Aquarius has for this person. Ten of Cups in reverse. Told you, you're thinking about a relationship or a connection that did not work out, boo boo. Three of Cups in reverse. And you and this person are distance, distant from each other. They could even be involved with a third party. Don't look at me like that. The Knight of Cups in reverse. I just got some of y'all are sulking. Yeah, look at all the cups you got. And you a fucking air sign, my nigga. Excuse my language. You are an air sign, Aquarius. And you got all cups for the way you feel. Somebody definitely got you in your feelings. All reverse. Somebody definitely got you in your feelings.
all cups for you. I've never seen that for y'all. Y'all always pulling some air. For somebody to have you and your feelings, yeah, you reminiscing about somebody. And it ain't just somebody. It's somebody that made you feel. How does this person feel about Aquarius? That just popped out. You saw that? The Queen of Swords. Some of you, it's another air sign. Another Aquarius, a Libra, Gemini. Oh, this person could have fucking... Mm -hmm. Okay, Six of Swords in reverse. This person is not over you either. This person hasn't moved on from you either. <laughs> nope. Five of Wands. They could be fight. They're trying to fight their feelings that they have. Because this person is still kind of guarded towards you. This person got drama in their life or drama around them. The Knight of Wands in reverse. Bottom of the deck is the temperance, Sagittarian energy. Wow. So some of you could be connecting with a Sagittarius. So I don't feel like, hold on. I don't feel like, um, like I see your person not being over you. It, it, it's, it's like this person can't move on from you, but it's like a struggle to move on from you, whoever this is. But I also see them being a little bit still pissed at you or mad at you. <laughs> Excuse me. Some of y'all, this person is a fire sign. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat is itchy from the instant. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Shit, they could be seeing you as the queen of swords, right? Let's clarify. Why did you pull the ten of cups in reverse? The three of cups. Seven of cups in reverse. Damn, somebody got you all in your face. It's like you want to... I see you wanting to reunite with somebody with the three of cups. But for some of y'all, maybe there's issues with family, with the ten of cups in reverse, or there's just some type of issue. Let me see the seven of cups in reverse. Some of y'all, somebody might even be trying to keep you as a friend. Let me see the seven of cups in reverse. I feel like whoever this is, you are so focused on them. Five of Swords. There could have been some conflict with this person. There you go. And your King of Swords shit. Trying to analyze things. Trying to look at things clearly. Let me see the Three of Cups in reverse. Why is the Three of Cups reverse? The Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you're not happy about this situation or how this situation turned out. Some of you are feeling like, you know, you invested in this person and you didn't get anything in return. Let me see the Knight of Cups in reverse. The Eight of Wands. With the Four of Pentacles. Mm. Some of y'all, maybe you received communication from this person. And that's why you're just like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? For some of you. But some of y'all, you can't trust this person. Like... If this is an ex that appeared and hit you up and messaged you out of nowhere, they pull in the Knight of Cups in reverse, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So it's a moody ex you got. So I feel like it's somebody who could flip flop on you. You know what I mean? Maybe one, they hit you up because they feeling, oh my God, I miss you, da, da, da. And then it's like the next day, it's like they back to their shit and they ghost you or something. Because I see you have your guard up towards this person. Let me see the Queen of Swords. The Devil. Some of you, this person is a Capricorn. So yeah, there was some type of toxicity here in this connection between you and this person. I don't know exactly what transpired. I also feel like there's a little bit of obsession here. I'm not sure if it's on your part or theirs. I feel like it may be on your part. Um, but let's see. All right. I want to... Um, Look at this person's subconscious. Let's see what's in this person's subconscious. 
about the way that they feel about you, Aquarius. All right. I'm going to use my um, hidden truth messages for that. Hidden Truth Oracle. If you guys want to join me to take a look at those messages, the link to the extended is in the description box below. In the extended, I will go ahead and um, I'll clarify your person's other three cards that we have here. The Six of Swords in reverse, the Five of Wands, the Knight of Wands in reverse. We'll go ahead and reveal these hidden truth messages from your person's subconscious about the way they feel about you. We'll look at your person's future actions to see what you can expect from them in the future. And we'll also go ahead and pull some Oracle cards to um, see what your advice is. All right, Aquarius, please, guys, don't forget to hit me with a thumbs up. Please hit me with the like button, subscribe, share, tell a friend, all that good stuff. And I love you all so much. If you want a personal reading, the information is below in the description box. And if you guys are going to join me in the extended, I will see you there. If not, I will see you next time. Have a blessed week, Aquarius. Thanks for all your continuous support. And be blessed and be well. And I'll see you soon. Bye.